Hi, there it's WB and welcome to World Broadcast YouTube channel. Before we get started make sure you hit the subscribe button and press bell icon to never miss any latest news. Trump warned Maxine Waters and she didn't listen. Now he's sending in the feds. After President Trump and many others have warned California Congresswoman Maxine Waters, aka Andy Maxine to stop the violent rhetoric against President Trump's cabinet and conservatives it seems things have reached a fever pitch and now we are getting various reports that the United States Secret Service is investigating the Congresswoman. This investigation came after conservative Laura Loomer filed an official complaint with the Secret Service which followed a judicial watch complaint against Waters with the House Office of Congressional Ethics. I just filed a complaint against Trap at Maxine Waters with the at Secret Service. Although the Secret Service officer couldn't get into the details of the investigation, he did tell me that SS is looking into Maxine's comments that incite violence against at real Donald Trump and his staff. The Judicial Watch complaint called to attention her multiple calls for violence against the sitting president, which is against the law. The group makes a point to state that lawmakers should in fact vote on whether or not to censure Waters, which could, in turn, force her resignation. All this comes as Waters also came under fire for praising the early 90s L.A. riots, which resulted in 63 D.D., nearly a billion dollars worth of property damage, and thousands injured. Here is more on this via CDP. The Secret Service is investigating Rep. Maxine Waters after she urged people to harass and confront Trump administration officials and supporters in public, according to the American Mirror. The explosive report came from journalist Laura Loomer, who said she filed a complaint with the Secret Service against Waters. Conservative watchdog Judicial Watch has also filed a complaint against Waters with the House Office of Congressional Ethics, saying her calls for violence against the sitting president is against the law. The group argues lawmakers should vote on whether to censure Waters, which could force her to resign. She is also under fire for praising the LA riots which resulted in nearly a billion dollars worth of property damage. On Monday, Loomer tweeted that after she filed her complaint, the Secret Service told her that it was looking into Waters' chilling remarks. As reported by Conservative Daily Post, Waters issued a dangerous call to action over the weekend, urging people to harass and inflict violence against officials who work for President Donald Trump. She said those who work for and support the president should not be welcomed or allowed in society. Here's part of what she said, if you think we're rallying now, you ain't seen nothing yet. Already, you have members of your cabinet that are being booed out of restaurants. Who have protesters taking up at their house, who say, no peace, no sleep. No peace, no sleep. Let's make sure we show up wherever we have to show up and if you see anybody from that cabinet in a restaurant, in a department store, at a gasoline station, you get out and you create a crowd and you push back on them, and you tell them they're not welcome anymore, anywhere. Following her chilling and disgusting comments, Judicial Watch filed a complaint on Monday against Waters for inciting violence against members of Trump's cabinet. In a letter to the House Ethics Office, the watchdog group said Waters was encouraging people to attack and use violence against members of Trump's administration and those who support him. The group said no member of Congress should be allowed to make such sickening comments, arguing that lawmakers should vote on whether she should be censured. Her calls for violence also came as pro-Trump Florida Republican Attorney General Pam Bondi was spit on by liberals while being chased out of a movie theater over the weekend. Prior to that, a mob of deranged liberals swarmed the home of Department of Homeland Security Secretary Chris Jean Nielsen putting her family at risk of being attacked, harassed, and confronted. Many would agree Waters' dangerous rhetoric should result in an investigation by the Secret Service. Lawmakers should also be forced to vote, on the record, about whether they believe any actions should be taken against Waters. This dangerous rhetoric has resulted in Republicans and members of the Trump administration being targeted, attacked, and harassed threatening violence against an elected official or member of the president's administration is a felony, and Waters should be held accountable. 
President Trump also chimed in on Monday the best way he knows how to reach his supporters without the censor and spin of the liberal mainstream media, with the tweet. Congresswoman Maxine Waters, an extraordinarily low IQ person, has become, together with Nancy Pelosi, the face of the Democrat Party. She has just called for harm to supporters, of which there are many, of the Make America Great Again movement. Be careful what you wish for Max. All this controversy comes after Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders was kicked out of a Virginia Red Hand restaurant by the owner last Friday night, and Florida Attorney General Pam Bondi was shouted down and chased out of the theater as she tried to attend a movie screening in Florida with her family. Pam Bondi attempted to attend the screening of the Mr. Rogers documentary a day after announcing her plan to end protections for healthcare consumers with pre-existing conditions. Here, via at time and tempa, is what happened. President Trump is 100% correct. Us conservatives are very logical and calm, unlike our liberal counterparts who are all bark and no bite. But this kind of rhetoric has no place in the public discourse, especially when it comes to a congresswoman like Waters who has no business being in public office to begin with. Be careful what you wish for anti-Maxine, you can only rattle a cage so much until the cage dog rises up and strikes back in defense. And when that happens things won't end well for your side. Please don't forget to like and support our channel by press subscribe button. Thank you for watching.